Welcome back. We take you to Peter Maritzburg now where a 17-year-old pupil will not be able to write matric exams this year after a brutal assault left him in a critical condition in hospital. Samir Khan was stabbed several times in a botched robbery last week and his family now lives in fear as the suspect has been released on bail. Karinda Jagmohan joins us now for more on this. Karinda, very good morning to you. What a heartbreaking story, especially as we take a look at the climate exams being a very crucial time of, of one person's life. What exactly happened here? Indeed, a tragic story here in Northdale, Peter Maritzburg. In fact, so tragic that community members have come out to protest, calling for justice for Samir. And you can hear their shouts. They're part of the local neighborhood, and they say that crime in the area has been on the rise. A 17-year-old boy uh, last week was... Um, attacked by a suspect that has been known to, they say, terrorize the community. And this has been a challenge for them. That's why they've come out here. They're upset. They're upset that right now the courts have released the suspect on bail. Now, the NPA is still to confirm uh, these bail conditions to us as well as the return court date. But I'm joined by Samir's mother, Melissa Singh. Thank you for speaking to us. You know, a, a tragedy here. I hear that Samir is still recovering in hospital and he's got stitches across his face. Tell us what exactly happened here outside the shop when Samir was attacked. Um, it was about around 6 p.m. and uh, I, I sent him to buy bread, him and a couple of his friends and his sister Samira. So while they were waiting outside, one friend went in to buy the bread. This guy and his wife and his niece or his daughter, I'm not sure exactly who she is, they tried to attack my daughter. They wanted to rob her of her gown. They said they'll take her teeth out of her mouth. And then they, she, they started pushing the, the, the teenagers around, bullying them at the shop. And uh, then he swung a crate to hit my daughter with, and then my son came in between. And um, while he was chopping my son, uh, his wife and his daughter held my daughter down. Describe for me the injuries that Samir has obtained along his face and arm. Samir got a fractured skull and uh, a fractured, the, the bone by his eye is also fractured. He's also currently uh, being seen by ENTs to check if there's any nerve damage for his eye and his nose. Mm -hmm. Is he going to be able to write his matric exams this year? What did he want to do? He wanted to be a traffic cop. He wanted, by initially he wanted to be an engineer, but financially um, we are unstable, so he was going to go into the traffic department. Mm -hmm. But will he write exams? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Because uh, he is uh, emotionally he's traumatized. For mm. well, the 17-year-old boy now, what are the demands for the family, for the community members who have gathered out here? We just want justice. Because this could have been somebody else's child. wouldn't have been so lucky like mine. Mm. He's just a minor. Mm. I just want the full might of the law. Mm. Yeah. This guy must pay for what he's done. So uh, this is Melissa Singh, the mother of 17-year-old Samir Khan, and the protest by the community members, by the family, is with regards to, uh, it's of course now emotional time, it's with regards to the fact that they're upset about the release of the suspect and unopposed bail into the community. They say, Melissa's in tears now, they say that the suspect is roaming free in the area. They're fearing for their own lives now, and they're fearing further for Samir's lives. And unfortunately for the 17-year-old boy, as the country, as this country's matriculants are writing exams, he will not be able to write exams. He will not be able to fulfill his dreams. And they're also concerned about this because for this young boy, it was one way to at least try and take his family out of poverty. But in the meantime, the community members, they continue protesting here. And uh, the suspect is uh, yet to uh, further appear in court for this trial to get underway. But that's the situation here in Northdale regarding crime in this area and the increased numbers of criminal incidents, now especially on children in this area. That is why community members are protesting. Very well, Corinda. Let's uh, leave it there for now. We will continue throughout the course of this morning to catch up with you, of course, listening to the cries and grievances of a community after this horrible crime, one we will continue to monitor.